There is a fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to students. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as the world. It is the middle ground between God and Earth, between zoology and intelligent creation. It lies between the armpit of man and the summit of his old spice. This is the dimension of philosophy. It is an area we call the Proverb Zone. We find ourselves stuck in a field of infinite delirium. We are challenged to test our skills of discernment between Proverbs of the Bible and those of the world. Behind each barrel lies the figure of the writings of one a certain proverb, some accounting for the world and some accounting for the Bible. Now it's up to you to guess if it's a quote from a famous person or a quote from the Bible. Upon my recitation and illustration of the proverb, you will have 20 seconds to decide if it was a world proverb or a proverb of the Bible. Worlds are merged here, so your discernment will be challenged in the proverb zone. Join me. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. I have 20 seconds to guess. Is this a proverb of the world or of the Bible? The answer? A proverb of Mahatma Gandhi. I am Mahatma Gandhi. Peace be with you. Pleasure to meet you, Mahatma Gandhi. Ah. Next! That one was a little tough. Let's do an easier one. Do you want to read the next one, Gandhi? Oh, yes, I do. Thank you very much. Yes, easy one. <laughs> don't do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Bible or world proverb, go! And the answer? Confucius! Confessing! I mean, con confessing! I mean, uh, con shaking con con Oh, that is confucius hmm. Shanghai Toyota Suzuki! Shanghai! Shanghai! Osigo! Oh, Toyota! Handai! If two ride horse, one must ride in the back! Shaka! <laughs> ah, horse biscuits! <laughs> And the answer to this great proverb is Confucius. Oh. <laughs> Of course, of course it is me. That explains why it was so great. Gandhi, you Indian fool! There is no need to open this. We will go to the next one. Ever onward to discernment. It is better to live alone in the desert than with a crabby, complaining wife. Gandhi, your followers at the pile of sandals at the door. <laughs> Come and clean them up. I, I am meditating right now. I will do it later. 
Also, they tracked mud all through the house. I'm not going to clean that up. Okay. Also, you brought home 2%. Don't you know I'm lactose intolerant? Okay. And another thing. You need to comb your mustache. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty seconds. And finally, the answer is Proverbs twenty one nineteen. I told you the wise thing to do would be to invest in those golden toilet paper rings. They're the bomb. Uh, hold on, I have someone on the other line. Hello, uh, I'm sorry, Darla. No, no, I'm with my other wife that day. And I'm with my other wife on that, on Tuesday as well. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, hold on, uh, some, I need to talk to someone. I need a soda. Speaking of drinks, on to number five. Give beer unto him that is ready to perish. <coughs> and wine unto those who have heavy hearts. I'm dying. I brought drinks. <laughs> yeah. One down. Two down. Twenty seconds. The answer is Proverbs 31, 6. I was wondering why it sounded so good. Let's go on to the next one so people can hear my beautiful voice. Everyone should be respected as an individual, but no one idolized. I mean, I respect them as individuals. It's not like they're worshiping or anything. <laughs> You could put eye shavings and nose pickings together. Abby in the next one. If a man blesses his neighbor early in the morning, it will be taken as a curse. Jeremy, buddy, come on, wake up. Good morning. Man. It's Mother's Day. You gotta make your mother some breakfast. Okay. And. Mm. Mm. Stop it. Jeremy. No. Jeremy, don't make me get the iron. <laughs> <laughs> leave, 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 leave. I'm not happy. Don't you guys <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> 20 second countdown. And the answer is... Proverbs 27, 14. Wait a minute, how is it scientifically possible that there's three of you? Yeah. The truth is, it doesn't matter whether there's three King Solomons or mustaches fall off and magically reappear on the face. Because sometimes weird things happen when you're in the Proverbs zone.
Enter!